let's try that again. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can see my future posts. Right, today is another life day in the life vlog. Yes, got that right. Oh, I think I've had too much coffee. <laughs> Um, yeah, today is mostly going to be prepping dinner in the slow cooker, an easy spicy honey chicken. And then I'm going to be cleaning out Ramen, my pet snake. He's finally settled in, well I think he's ready to be cleaned out because we moved in about three weeks ago. I like to make sure he was settled, had a meal, let that digest and then I'm going to clean him out, which is today. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm going to take the dog somewhere nice because it's a lovely day outside so I'm going to take him swimming. I have a Labrador and Labradors love water so I thought I'd treat him and take him for a swim. And then I'll probably work out if I feel like it. We'll see. So yeah, that's my day in a nutshell. Keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, dinner's on the go. I'm gonna clear up the little mess I've made and then I'm gonna go and clean out the snake in a bit. Okay, so first things first is I get some coconut husk and a container. And then I basically prepare the husk first. I don't, I've not touched ramen yet because I don't want him to get stressed out any more than he needs to be. So I'm going to prepare as much as I can before I get him out and put him in his box. The box is perfectly safe and it shouldn't stress him out too much, but I just don't want to handle him too much before I have to, if that makes sense. So I'm going to prepare this coconut husk and then um, onto the next step, I guess. <laughs> Okay, the husk is prepared and ready. Next thing to do is go and get ramen and put them in this box. Before I put them in this box, I made sure it's had a bit of a clean and dust out. Dust shouldn't have got into it, but it's just in case. And I also put some kitchen roll at the bottom in case he needs a wee wee, which most likely won't happen, but just in case. Um, so yeah, let's go and get ramen and clean out his bib. <laughs> he has made such a mess in the last shed, but It'll soon be sorted. So nice and stress free for the boy. He's a really friendly snake, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue for him, will it? So just make sure it's me, not food. That's why I always stroke him before I pick him up. And he won't be an issue. Oh, you, Papa. Hey, Ramon. Hey, boy. So I pop him in his box. Good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. And pop his lid on. Excuse me, Ramon. Good boy. Clip him in and with the kind of viv I've got his ceramic bulb is his heat source and it actually makes the top of his viv quite warm it's a bit dusty excuse the dust so I like to put his box on the heat source it's not boiling hot or anything it's just so he makes sure he stays warm and toasty in there while I clean him out see he's happy Okay, so I've got all of this stuff out the viv and I'm going to put it in a clean sink and I'm going to basically clean it all with this solution with a clean sponge and then dry it with some paper towel and then pop it back in when it's all ready. I failed 
to mention that my tripod has broke, so the shots are a bit bad <laughs> in this video. But I couldn't wait because Raman really needed a clean out and it gives me something to do and I thought I would film it because I thought it was interesting because when I didn't have Raman, I found his <laughs> videos really interesting. Um, so yeah, all of his decorative bits from the Viv are out to dry. His bowl and his hides are all on a towel which you saw, um, which is just basically for this purpose only. Snakes, ten, um, apparently they can carry salmonella, so it's best not to mix your stuff that you cook with or anything that you'd use to go near food for this reason. So it's just best to have an animal towel. <laughs> um, so I've popped them on to dry, now it's time to clean out his dirty bedding from the viv. So yeah, that's next to do. Hmm. I, don't know what, I don't know what kind of mood I'm in today, but yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so this is my little setup. I've put a bag in my drawer, ready, so I can scoop out the bedding and put it in and then use the brush for the excess. So I simply just, oh, the rubbish, and then pop it in the bag. Like that. Ugh. I wish I had my tripod. It would be so much better. Get all the rubbish from here. Again, this is a dustpan that I only use for this purpose. Oh, I don't want to mix anything. See, you're nearly done. It's that easy, getting rid of all this bedding. Don't want to faff around. Raman's just wanting to escape. I might give him a bit of a stretch on the grass once we're done. Right, I'm going to finish this off, brush it down, and then I will wet it down with the solution again and clean it down. So I've got my disinfectant, and I'm just going to spritz. You don't need too much, just enough to get rid of all the ramen mess okay and then get some paper towel and give it a rub down just pull the need do two hands please. if anyone has a tip of cleaning this kind of glass without taking it out, please let me know. Because it's a right faff cleaning them without taking them out. I mean, I want to be able to see in, it, so it's nice and clean. Anyway, back on to the clean. So, we're making sure all the stains and stuff are off the bottom of the viv, which is nearly there. And then I'm just going to spray the sides and then wipe them down too. Okay, next step, now the viv is all clean. I've done my best with the glass doors, but don't judge me because it's hard <laughs> without taking the glass out. But I've just made sure I've disinfected them and made sure they're clean and wiped down. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this husk in and then I'm gonna put the other bedding in and then the other stuff in and then we're pretty much done. Raman's getting a bit impatient now. because please, I just want to see my nice clean house. decorative stuff is cool hide and his water bowl. Raman, ever since I had to help him de-shed some skin in the bath, he's <laughs> very often in this water bowl. When I say in, I just mean just part of his body because obviously he can't fit in this bowl. So when we do upgrade to a bigger viv, I'm thinking of getting a, a bigger bowl for him just to, you know, bathe in because he does really love the water. I most, hello Torty. <laughs> What are you doing? Do you like the rubbish? Yeah, the rest of my house is a mess. Please don't judge me. It's a building site. Um, so yeah, when we do get a bigger viv for him, which is definitely on the cards, um, he's going to get a bigger bowl too, so he can have some fun. Because in this house, we don't have a bath, we just have a shower. So yeah, that'll be good. Right, so let's go and have some fun with ramen in the garden. Okay, I've 
got the boy. I've shut the cat and the dog in the house just so he doesn't scare our man basically. <laughs> so we're gonna put him on the grass and we're gonna have a little have a little explore, aren't we? Okay, good a bit.